Hi everyone and welcome back to Higher Biology. We are continuing on with Unit 1, DNA in the Genome, and today we're going on to Key Area 5, which is the structure of the genome. A bit like Key Area 4, this is quite a short one. There's only a few things you need to know, so let's get on with it. So first off, what the genome actually is. The genome of an organism is its entire hereditary information, which is encoded or found in the DNA. So essentially, all the genetic instructions, all the information that makes you you and gives you certain characteristics is all within your genome. But the genome is made up of two slightly different parts. First of all, it's made up of sequences that code for proteins, which we call genes, but it's also made up of DNA sequences that do not code for proteins. Okay, so both of these together make up the entire genome. And interestingly, in most, uh, most of the entire eukaryotic genome is made up of non-coding sequences. It's only a very small percentage that actually codes for proteins and are therefore genes. So we want to just look at what makes these two things a bit different and what their role is. So, as I've said before, if you're a coding sequence, you are a gene, and that means you're going to code for proteins. That is the entire purpose of these coding sequences. And as I've said, it actually makes a very small percentage of your overall genome. The one that we're going to focus on a bit more is the non-coding sequences. And there's three different things that they could be responsible for. So if they're non-coding sequences, they are not genes, they do not code for proteins, so what do they do? First of all, they can regulate transcription, and they do this by turning genes on and off as regions of DNA activate DNA polymerase that bind to coding regions that we've looked at before in our protein synthesis and our transcription and translation. Second of all, they can actually be transcribed into mRNA, but then not translated into a protein. So for example, tRNA and rRNA. And third, sometimes there's areas of non-coding sequences that have no known function yet. We don't actually know what they do, we know that they don't code uh, for proteins, they're not genes, but we're not entirely sure what they do. <clears throat> so this is the main part of this key area, in fact the only part really of this key area. You need to know what the genome is, and you need to know the differences between the coding sequences and the non-coding sequences. So I've made this slide just to try and uh, summarise it a bit easier for you, but basically if you're a coding sequence, you're a gene, you code for proteins. If you're a non-coding sequence, you either regulate transcription, you're transcribed but not translated, or you have no known function. And that's it. That's all you need for a key area 5, structure of the genome. What is the genome and what do the coding and non-coding regions do? Uh, I'll stick up a quizzes um, attached to this in the description area, and I'll get on with key area 6, which is mutations, which is a much bigger and much more complicated part. But thanks so much for listening, folks, and I'll get that up to you soon.